to show the correct application of a PLCS low pressure bell joint kit. Each kit contains the mold, banding, a pressurizing key, a bottle of primer, a primer brush, a pair of gloves and an instruction leaflet. Kits for bell joints up to 20 inches also include the correct amount of sealant. Please read the instruction leaflet before you start the encapsulation and if you have any questions call PLCS. An area around the belt pipe joint is first cleaned down to bare metal, preferably by using a grit blaster, although some customers use descalers. Check the underside with a mirror to ensure that it is also clean. This area should be kept dry. Do not soap test after cleaning. Apply a thin coat of primer with the brush using a scrubbing action. Here we are not actually a priming, applying primer because we need to get the sealant off this pipe afterwards. Wrap the mold around the joint with the unsewn edge on the spigot side. With one hand underneath, carefully press the Velcro together firmly and evenly to create no wrinkles. Four inch, six inch and eight inch kits use these nylon ratchet ties. Larger kits use metal bands which we will demonstrate later. Insert all four of the ties through the channels in the mold. The spigot side must also be passed through the short channel over the Velcro overlap. Position the mold with the neck at the 12 o'clock position on the pipe and line up the inner row of stitching with the edge of the bell face. Starting with the inner bell side, pull this tie through its ratchet head until it is hand tight. Then pull the outer spigot side tie hand tight. and pull the mold away from the bell face and evenly distribute the creases around the pipe. Now hand tighten the outer bell tie. Fit the tensioning tool over the inner hub tie and with one hand squeeze until tight. Do not over tighten. A separate trigger is used to cut the tie. Tighten the spigot outer tie and then the outer hub tie. Pull the inner spigot tie hand tight only. Do not use the tool. Fold the top of the filling neck over a couple of inches and place the pressurizing key over it. The open end of the key should be on the bell side of the joint with its curved ends pointing upwards. Pour the part B sealant into the part A can and mix thoroughly with a jiffy mixer for one timed minute. Make sure that you use a low speed drill about 500 RPM as the power source so that it has sufficient torque to mix the sealant on a cold day. PLCS always uses stainless steel jiffy mixers. They have a much better mixing action, scrape the bottom and sides of the can and will not fall off into the sealant. If the cured sealant is cleaned off daily this mixer will last for many years.
Spin the head of the mixer into the carton which cleans off all the excess sealant. Hold the neck open with the fingers of one hand under the fold and pull the neck taut. Pour all the sealant into the mold. Flatten the top of the neck and slide the key up to above the sealant level. Squeeze the key parts together and wind it down towards the pipe. When the neck stands up on its own, sufficient pressure has been put into the mold to seal the leak. Lock the key into position by hooking the two ends together. This whole encapsulation took five minutes.